in communist behavior news. <laughs> Submitted by I am the law. I am the law. I am the law. <laughs> it just reminds me of Bart calling everyone communists on his fucking Instagram. <laughs> you did? When was that? It was just random like haters, they write, write something stupid, and then I never entertain them. So I always just write back something crazy, and then it usually confuses them, it makes me happy. <laughs> hey, that should be the thing, just whoever's talking shit, call him a communist asshole. It's so good. Yeah, someone wrote something on one of my, <laughs> on one of my pictures. I'm gonna use it. And then I wrote, uh, oh, fuck you, communist. yeah, fuck you, you communist dick writer. <laughs> oh my god. And what's great about it is this guy's probably like, hey Bart, you're a punk ass bitch or whatever, right? And then he gets back like, you're a fucking communist. And he's sitting there like, he's like yeah, I'm a communist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A teacher sparked a debate online after he was filmed wiping makeup off female students' faces. That sounds bad. Damn. Why is that bad? I don't know. Maybe they had too much makeup. Makeup. Maybe, maybe they didn't. Have, maybe they didn't consent to him just like rubbing fucking people's. Faces. Oh, you're thinking so aggressively. I thought maybe, he was going yeah, up maybe. like this. I still don't want my teacher touching yeah. my fucking face. Yeah. But what if he's touching it up for you? No. And he's a professional it makeup. It's a makeup class. Rubbing it off. Makeup. Rubbing yeah. it off. Gio, what if he looked extra slutty? He went like super this. distracting. For him. For him. <laughs> okay, I get it. He couldn't contain himself otherwise, right? Yeah. yeah. What if he rubbed it off and then applied some better makeup on you? Oh god, I'd be fucking offended. That's tight. He's got the Avon shit, and you got yeah. the cheap shit. Get is the that elf. still around? Avon? Avon shit is the shittiest shit. Elf is the shittiest shit. It's one dollar. Avon is worse than Elf. Is it really? Yes. Oh, what about Avon ladies? They're all they all. Oh, that's why they have bad makeup. <laughs> I just pictured them. You're right. That's like Mary Kay. Those are the most yep. wrecked chicks. Same <laughs> shit. But they got that pink car. Yeah, they got the pink car, but they got fucking pink cheeks too. That's true. Holy shit. But the pink BMW. I didn't know they fucking existed still. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, they exist. I just remember when I was a kid, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. All right. So this story here, this is a teacher in China. Indiana. Yeah. China. Oh, China. <laughs> Wisconsin. It was worth a show. Well, it, I mean, it was titled. Communist behavior, I don't know. So this Chinese school teacher. Um, a lot of Chinese bots like to come to our videos that are anti-China. It's not even anti-China, we just like to make jokes. <laughs> so they, okay, so this teacher, it's a secondary school teacher, used a cloth to wipe down, aggressively wipe down these female students' mm. makeup. Was it microfiber? I oh, that it. really works. Yeah, it could be really soft. Yeah. She needed to use makeup remover because it's really thick on the skin. Microfiber works too though. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Just using the cloth? Just water and cloth. Is that right? That's it. I'll be but damned. what if the teacher didn't even use water? That's yeah, why it's so aggressively. I will show you a video. I use that on the glasses. There's a video. Works well. Here you go. Oh, that's uh, pretty There's empty. water. There's water. It's a bucket yeah, of water. What is he doing? He's fucking using that shit like he's trying to buff their face like it's a car. Are they, just then, are they just lining up for it or like? And then he uses the same cloth. Yeah. And bucket. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Same cloth, same bucket. <laughs> Look at the way he's rubbing it, dude. That motherfucker's going like this. Damn, did he just pull it by her hair? Damn. Are they all laughing? And, and it's a dude teacher. No. Nah. They're just like, damn, what the fuck? <clears throat> Is it against their dress code or something? Yeah, to I don't want to talk makeup? shit. Like, unless I know, like... I do. I, yeah, I want to talk shit, but I want to know the world. of the school said that in rural... In this rural... Rural uh, area? Province, rural. Yeah. Rural. Rural. Uh, many students have been wearing heavy makeup to class, mm -hmm. and the school decided to ban makeup. Oh, it's not rural anymore. Said most of these students are the left-behind children whose parents live and work in big cities, so they're... Therefore, teachers felt the responsibility to look after them and provide them with wow. proper guidance. Shit. So it's like the Chinese Lancaster. They don't even have like latchkey kids. They have left behind yeah, kids. Left behind. That's really depressing. <laughs> That's like I'm left there to fucking fend for my own while yeah. my parents go work and send me money. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. You just send money. But latchkey money. kids is sad though. Yeah. Nikki was one. I was. And the damage I was one too. is done. <laughs> I was a latchkey like, kid. Too. You're like, ask me how I know. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know. My friend was a parachute kid, and I was like, man, you are so lucky. Wait, what's a parachute so kid? So a parachute kid is like the reverse of this, where your parents are so fucking rich, they send off their kids to America on little parachutes, yeah. and then they fucking land here, and then they have to fend for themselves, and they just inject oh, a fuck ton of money. I don't know fend for yourself. I'd say that it's kind of like, because they have like good amount of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Butlers and shit. Too. Yeah. Yeah. They're like a guardian. I had a friend that was 15 with the M3. 
That's like the military school kid. He had no license, but his parents were like, this kid needs to get around. Wow. So I'll buy a house, I'll give you a car, you figure out how to drive it and go drive yourself to high school. Oh that God. sounds kind of dope, but I get it. I get that it's not, but yeah. also it's kind of depressing, yeah. But right now it sounds dope. Oh yeah, totally. It yeah. does. It's, it's well, dope. I was always jealous, like, well, cause my friend, um, it was him and his little brother, and then they would always like stay at these homes, like I guess they're caretakers or whatever, and he's like, I can't get along with any of them. So their parents just fucking bought them a place, Fuck. and then had like a nanny or maid live on the townhouse behind oh, them. Oh my god. So she would just come over, and take clean. care of shit, and him and his brother would have the whole house themselves. So we'll be playing like Dance Dance Revolution till 2 a.m. Wow. <laughs> that sounds Richie fun. Rich that sounds yeah, fun. Yeah, and then he would make fucking, like, he would cook, we would just. He, they would just stock his like house with groceries. We would just fucking make food. This was like seventh or eighth grade. Dude, I heard Eminem oh, has a Taco shit. Bell in his in his mansion. What? Wow. Yeah. How, Imagine being a how tight Taco is Bell that? Employee? Right? There. How do you that know so much about Eminem? Oh, uh, because my fucking wife is obsessed with Eminem. <laughs> I know what his dick look, looks like. You know his mom just sued him. Again. Again. Again? Or maybe that's something that's old. That's no, pretty. pretty old. I think perhaps it is. The Ten million thing. Is that the whole room again? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the amount was. I just know that his mom's been all over him. I recently met um, this lady that was a parachute kid, and like I had never met anyone that was like that. So I'm like, what? She was telling me stories of when she was in high school. Is she Asian? Yeah. Um, her from Taiwan. Mm. So then she was telling me that in high school. Oh, and she grew up in San Marino. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, of there's a ton of them. Yeah, there's a ton especially of them. around that area. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. So what's then, of course, of course, San Marino. San Marino, is San Marino, and Arcadia. Yeah. They have a lot of parachute kids there. It's like the Asian it's like, Beverly Hills. Yeah, millionaire, billionaire kids yeah. of yeah. Taiwanese. I'm updating. So then, thank you. So then, uh, <laughs> she was telling me that in in school, she, her guardian would take her to the grocery store and just stock up on a fuck ton of alcohol, and she would throw these crazy parties all the time. And I'm like. Jeez. What a dope guardian. That, and then that, I know, right? That's not a guardian, that's a servant. <laughs> right? She called, her, she called that person a guardian. And then she said that there was this one time that she drank, like her and her friends drank this like mega expensive whiskey that were like, it's worth like thousands of dollars. Right. And then that they, I, she didn't know how expensive it was, so she drank it, like her and her uh, friends drank it, and then she refilled it with, with tea. So then her dad comes with a whole bunch of really Oh. Important executive people, <laughs> and then he starts oh, serving them because he was like, "This is a special like, occasion." What the fuck? Yeah, and then she, like, she got in so much trouble, and I'm like, "Damn, you're Damn, a bad see kid." See how smooth it is. Yeah. I just this had, is a burn. <laughs> I just had Japanese whiskey. Yeah, which one? Which one? Uh, I don't know because the bottle looked uh, like a foreign language to me. Yamazaki, <laughs> Suntory, really bomb. Huh? Yeah, they make yeah, good whiskey. Bomb. Yeah, overpriced, but they make good whiskey. Yeah. So I was at this like fucking trade show thing that you all got invited to, by the way, but nobody came to except for me and Nikki. And really? yeah, well, I didn't even know you guys were going. I which one? Who it was this alcohol thing on Monday. It was dope. I gone. Oh, I you should have gone. No, I really I couldn't because of my things. Oh. <laughs> Was it? I want to go to drinking things. Well, dude, I will make sure that you're invited next time. Dude, it was fucking awesome, and you got to try everything. They had everything there. It was so sick. So yeah, I tried Japanese whiskey. It was fucking. Oh, that's where you tried it. Right? Yeah. Was it's Hawaii. really smooth. Yeah, right, yeah. It's really yeah, they're really they're very meticulous when it comes to details of that kind of shit. It's supposed to be like one of the top five whiskeys in they, the world. They named right? the Yamazaki 18 or something like that, like the whis the best whiskey of all time, and that's why the price is like shot up like mm. crazy for it. Like that's why I think the Japanese whiskey is overpriced, is because there's too much hype, hype around it. So I think that there are better scotches for the money, but as far as like whiskeys go, it's good. It's just not worth like fucking five times over a sticker, you know? So that's yeah. like my only thing with it. And I didn't point at Ryan because he's Japanese. I pointed at Ryan because no, we've been talking about, been talking about it. About that's right. Yeah, because I'm Japanese and I never that. talk about it. Just saying. Oh, I know everyone thinking yeah. I'm a racist, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> well, he wouldn't be racist because he's pointing out the right type of Asian. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I thought. Good point. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we were talking about the Chinese teacher with yeah. the makeup cloth. Yeah, that's, I yeah. think it's totally fine. Is it? <laughs> you need to beat some kids up from could, time could, to time. Couldn't you just ask them nicely to take it off and like? Yeah. Okay, so they're saying now that like the school is saying that since that happened, yeah. no one has gone to school yeah. with makeup anymore. Yeah. That's like <laughs> you know when when like, someone like, commits a crime, you hang them in the village and you leave them up there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they have different. It's a different world out there, and also if uh, if it is against the rules. Then I guess for them it justifies why they could yeah. put hands on the student. And yeah. Chinese people don't talk about problems; they just handle it. What's woke in China right now? Can we talk about what's woke moves there? I mean, <laughs> you know what? Hong Kong's trying to be woke right now, but they're not talking about that. Hong Kong is woke. Yeah. They're pretty woke. 
I heard they were singing the national anthem. You know what's funny? I saw this whole Hong Kong protest thing, and someone showed a picture of this, like, uh, protest in Oregon, in Portland, right? They're all waving the fucking communist flag there. Yeah. And in Hong Kong, they're oh, yeah, waving American the fucking flag. American flag. Yeah. And, I'm and like, they're singing the national anthem. Yeah. What kind of fucking ironic shit is this, dude? Well, it's people who need freedom and people who think they don't. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have freedom. Or they think that communism is freedom? Yeah, what right. the fuck? Nuts. Aren't Holy the people China. in Hong Kong protesting with MAGA hats on, too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wild. They don't want to be extradited. Wild time. Yeah. That one video, it's just like, uh, Donald Trump don't trust China. China's asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone kept leaking me that shit. They're like, that sounds like you. I would do that too. And dude, if I was over there and I Trump wanted America's help, I'm wearing fucking yeah. Trump hats, yeah. Trump shirts, whatever helps. Yeah. China is asshole, man. China is asshole. <laughs> so angry. This shit was funny. That's crazy.